Okay, welcome to another one of my videos. In this one, I'm going to set up a sort of multi-purpose uh, close editing area. So it really came about from a discussion with someone who was struggling a little bit with the transition from 8.5 to X1 uh, and how to work on volume envelopes on a fully maximized individual track. Uh, that got me thinking to my comping view screen set, which is similar, and how I could adapt that to uh, use that as a general purpose, uh, as I say, sort of close-up editing view. So if you've seen uh, my console view, uh, my comping view, sorry, set up, screen set setup video, you may want to skip forward a little bit. Uh, but this is how I do that. I've copied a standard screen set, I believe it's just the one that comes with the normal template, across to screen set 10 by pressing Control 0 and I'm going to work from here. So first thing I'm going to do is undock the browser. So drag that in the view and shut that down completely to get rid of it. And I'm going to do the same with the inspector. Undock it, click the close button. So you can see we've now got a nice wide view. The console view is here by default, but if it isn't in your particular screen set, press Alt 2, uh, it should open in the multi-dock. Put it at the bottom or the top if you prefer, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but what I'm going to do with that is drag it down uh, so I can just see the track name and track numbers like so. And I'm also, while I'm there, going to hide the main strip and hide the buses strip so all I can see is tracks along the bottom here. That effectively becomes a uh, selector for what's going on up in the top here. I'm going to hide the bus pane by pressing Shift B. So I'm now left with just a track view and a very minimized or very small console view for selection. I'm going to press Control A to select all tracks and then grab the divider there, hold the Shift key and click and drag to maximize the track. And that's maximized all tracks. So if I click on a different track now, as you can see, skip through, they're all maximized. And while they're still all selected, for the purposes of this, I'm going to start off with uh, volume envelope editing. So I'm going to hold down a control key, key even, click on the uh, edit filter, select automation volume. And that's now added a volume envelope to every track because they were all selected when I held the control key down. As you can see, there's an envelope in every track. And while I'm here, just to maximize the workspace, I'm going to completely get rid of the track header like so. Uh, and finally just going to press Control shift a to deselect all the tracks. As you can see, you can now select what's in the top view by clicking on the bottom and uh, edit away to your heart's content. Just going to hold the Alt key down while I uh, put in some nodes. Uh, so there you have it. That's uh, obviously a, a way of quickly working on volume envelopes. If you want to add stuff to that, again, if it's all tracks, Control A to select all. Press T or the middle mouse button, brings up the HUD. And again, automation, hold down the Control key. And we can now add uh, other envelopes like so. Again, that's added a gain envelope on the low frequency uh, from the PC and deselect tracks control shift a again as you can see that's on all tracks now and let's go back here once we've got here again some of the trips I've shown before but you can shift click on an envelope to quickly change envelopes and uh, that was shift and left click you can shift and right click which will obviously jump backwards and forwards between envelopes as I say uh, pressing T brings up the HUD if you want to add more envelopes and again if you want envelopes on all tracks you can hold down the control A uh, so I'll press control A to select all tracks and hold the control key while you're adding the envelope that'll add them to all tracks uh, and also remember shift click will on the clip will take you back to the, the click the only thing that's missing here as far as I'm concerned is that there should be some sort of uh, pop-up as you hold the mouse over like that anyway as you can see, that's a quite a quick way of working because if I go back to my first screen set, you could be working away there and then as soon as you want to do a bit of volume uh, envelope editing, just press 0, takes you across there. Bear in mind, of course, that that would normally be ready selected. You could select the tracks you want to work on, uh, do any of the envelope changes that you want 
add nodes, do whatever, and then uh, switch back to your screen set you came from. And it's that simple. So I hope that helps somebody anyway. Uh, and that should make life a little bit easier for some multi-purpose editing. Thanks.